Um, what do you think it is about the expanse that resonates with such a passionate global fan base? You know, I, um, I was a fan of the books before we even started shooting the show, and I think, you know, for me, for me, it's one of those great examples of science fiction using poignant allegory for precedent issues, you know, because ultimately it's, it takes place a couple hundred years in the future and it's got all this adventure and excitement and size and everything like that, but it's ultimately a political drama that touches on issues that I think are really important to people, not just in the U.S., but around the globe. And, um, and it, and it shows it in an empathetic and human way. So they're telling those human stories, and um, you know, I think that they're. Uh, it, it follows that tradition of being able to touch on topics that are very hot and passionate topics that might be really divisive, and but is able to reach a broader audience because of the genre. And um, and I, James S. A. Corey did a wonderful job of that in the books, and and uh, you know we do our best to to portray that in the show as, as, uh, as sensitively and as honorably as we can. What can you tease about Holden's arc in the upcoming season? So, you know, Holden, um, for me, as a fan of the books and as an, as an actor, it was always fun for me uh, to read a very unusual hero arc uh, for fiction where, you know, you really see him grow into the leader he needs to become, which, you know, for me, always felt really realistic. You know, leaders like that don't generally just pop out of the blue. Um, they are dragged through the fire, and they fail a lot, and they learn from those experiences, and there's this kind of strength through humility that goes through. Because at first you see him, he's, he's kind of cocky, he's got this very black and white worldview, um, and, you know, he does the right thing, and gets dragged into this, um, into this conspiracy. Uh, and, you know, often doesn't live up to his own expectations and has to grow through them. And, you know, in season four, um, at the end of season three, obviously, he becomes this kind of pseudo-prophet-like figure. He's the only one talking to this ancient civilization. Uh, and he thinks he's going crazy, and it's really frightening, and he's afraid. And um, by season four, in the beginning, he's become comfortable with being that person. And, um, and I think it's the first time we really see Holden feel comfortable in the leadership position uh, that he finds himself in. So he's, his feet are more firmly on the ground in season four, and he needs it to be because the stuff they go through is kind of nuts. Um, did you notice a change in production or in writing or anything moving from sci-fi to Amazon? No, you know, to be honest with you, um, I mean, they've been incredible in terms of their support and, um, and, and putting the show out there, which we're super grateful for. Um, you know, the, the company in and of itself is uh, a fan of the show, and um, it's been lovely. And, you know, they, they, they've been very good about letting us do it the way we do it, you know, and because it is an unusual structure for this show. And in the 20 years ish I've worked in this business, it's a, it feels more like a theater company than a television show. It's very collaborative. Um, it's very artist driven. Um, so they they have allowed us to kind of do our thing. They, they've trusted us with this uh, with this source material and this story, and, and we're grateful for it. I have one more question. So, um, do you think there'll be a difference in the way fans absorb the show as you go from like a week to week episode, where you have the chance to like speculate and take it apart, to um, a streaming where you would like binge it all in one go? It, Some people. Yeah, I mean, you know, there um, it, it is a different experience. I mean, you know, for those who have only watched the show on Amazon, it will be the same. Hello. Um, but for me, uh, I prefer I prefer the binging experience only. Yeah, only only because it's um, you know the show is so meticulously plotted and the details are very important. There's nothing in the show that's superfluous. It all means something. And you know, small details that happen very early sometimes become really big things later on. And the the story the story structure I think lends itself to watching larger chunks of it at one time um, and you know if, if you got a weak gap some of those details sometimes get lost yeah. I forget stuff a lot yeah yeah so I, I think it's more conducive to um, the complex storytelling uh, long-form storytelling so uh, I, I prefer it um, you know I hope, I hope everyone does too